here we're going to look at questions that can arise once you've drawn your cumulative frequency graphs or if they give you a cumulative frequency graph like this things that they can ask you about it so here we're going to look at the median interquartile range and then we're going to move on to some other questions here and this is going to be the same example but just a, a different question on the, on the right hand side here so let's have a little look at finding the median and the interquartile range so we've done these now so they should make sense so the median is the halfway point in the data or the half n plus one term now because we've drawn the graph this plus one is going to make very little difference technically it should be there but i'm quite happy with us here just finding the halfway point so remember the cumulative fre frequency is the number of things so in this question we have 52 countries in africa that's what the cumulative frequency represents and we can see here that it goes up to a total of 52. So there are 52 things. And therefore the median will be half of that. So we're going to find half of 52. So the 26th term. Okay, half of the total, which is 52. Yes, we should call it 53 really and half that. So get 26 and a half but we'll get away with it on the graphs questions just by doing it as the half term. So we just need to find the 26th item in the list. Now, because this is a cumulative frequency, it's all my values kind of added together. So it's already in ascending order. It goes from zero to 50. So if I want to find the median, I want to find the 26th thing. I find 20, one, two, three, four, five. I find the 26th thing here, which is there. And I'm going to draw a line across to meet my cumulative frequency graph. So this will be my median. And then I'm going to draw a line down. You should be using a pencil and ruler so it's easier. And this value here, this will be the value of our median. So it's the 26th term, but the actual value is read off the bottom axis. So this is going to be 52, 54, 55. Okay, and here they represent percents. The adult literacy rate, 55%. So the median is 26th term, halfway in. And that means I draw a line across at 26, draw a line down, and this here, 55%, is my median value. Interquartile range worked out in really similar fashion, so you, sh you should have watched the video on this now. So this is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, and again, the upper, qu upper quartile is three quarters n plus one, but again, we're just going to treat it as the three quarters of the way into the data because because the scale of the graph and the axes and how it's drawn makes it really difficult to do 0.5s. So we're just going to call this three quarters. So we need the three quarters of the way in. So three quarters of 52. So one quarter divided by four and you'll get 13. So three quarters, I want a 19th term. So for this, sorry, that's rubbish. Um, one quarter, what did you say? Well, it's 13, so I want the 39th term, sorry. So the 39th, so I find this is my number. Frequency is always the number of things. So I find the 39th ruler and pencil, not like me, it's difficult on the computer, draw a line across. Draw a line down and it would be in there. And this would be my upper quartile. Okay, and that's this value here. And it looks like this is going to be 60, 69%. Very similar for the lower quartile. This is a quarter of the way in, so the quarter n plus one term again. I'm just going to quarter 52 because it's on a graph. Shouldn't do that really, especially if all the data is laid out in front of me. But it just makes things a bit easier for the graphs and, and we're allowed to do it for the graphs. So one quarter of the way in, we said was 13th, so it's the 13th term. So again, number of terms on the left, that was 13 out of there, 13. It's going to be here. So a line across here and where that meets, line down. And this would be my lower quarter, so a quarter of the way into the data. And it looks like this is 13%. Okay, whoops, I didn't give the didn't write this one here. It's not 69, this looks like it's 37%. And therefore my interquartile range will be the upper quartile 
minus the lower quartile, so 69 minus 37, which gives us 32%. Okay, so that's my median. Halfway in, 52 things in the question. Halfway in is going to be the 26th, give or take a little bit. So roughly there or thereabouts, we get away with the graphs. Line across from the 26th thing, line down, that value is the median. And then interquartile range, three quarters of the way in, one quarter of the way in. So if we divide the number of things, 52 by 4, we can find the quarters. And then we draw lines across for the lower quartile as a quarter of the way in, upper quartile, three quarters of the way in. Draw a line down, this is my actual upper quartile, three quarters of the way in. This is my actual lower quartile, three quarters of the way in. And that will always be the same. If that's for the median, that's my method. If that's for the quartile range, that's my method. Don't forget to read off these values. These are your actual values. Okay, the 39th term, the 13th term, the 26th term, they're just where that value lies within the data. The actual values themselves, though, they're the median and the, and the upper quartile and lower quartile. And the second one, I'll just zoom out. And I'll just rub this off. You should have it down. Remember, you can always pause it if you haven't and go back. So this is the same, exactly the same graph, but this time it's a slightly different style of question. So before we looked at the median in the interquartile range, here we're looking at finding the number of people who are less than 40% of a, um, sorry, the, the number of countries which have an adult, adult lit literacy rate of less than 40%. So percentages, rather than frequencies, frequencies, the number of things always on this axis, the actual values themselves, in this case, percentages, they're on this axis, the x-axis. So if I want to find the number less than 40%, I find 40% on my x-axis. So less than 40%, and I draw a line up, and I draw a line across. My computer will let me. There we go. And this value that I get here, that's how many people are up to that 40 point. 40% point. So find 40% line up, line across, and it looks like they are. Let me just redraw this. So 40% looks like it's pretty much exactly on. So this is going to be 15. So there'll be 15 people up to that point. So very similar to the last question, but we're just working with the other axis because we're given a different starting point here. Rather than given the number of things, which refers to this, we are given the actual percentage of adult literacy, which refers to this. More than 75%, really similar. Just got to be a little bit more careful. So more than 75%, so we find 75% on our axes, which is here. It's gonna be difficult to draw, 75%. Goes to here, line across. This looks like it's halfway between. Should be a little bit easier for you. And if it's, it's halfway between or not quite on the money, they'll give you a little bit of leeway. Be as accurate as you can, rule a sharp pencil. But if, if it's slightly dodgy where it is, where it's not quite on the line or halfway between, they'll be quite lenient. And don't try and be too precise. If you've got squares, either it's on the money like these two, or if it's halfway between, it's halfway between. If it's kind of here, we just treat it as halfway. So don't try and be too accurate, but pencil and ruler to be accurate with your lines, but read off halves at, at most. So this is 75% down here, more than 75%. Well, this gives me up to that point. So up to that point, that's 41, 2, 3, 4, 44.5, I think. Okay, I know we can't have 0.5 of a person, um, but it's, just about there, but that's 44.5 up to that point. So when it says more than, I've got 52 countries in total. This time, if there's 44.5 up to that point, then more than that will be the difference between the most 52 and that value there. So this time we do a subtraction and this gives us 7.5. Okay, so if you've got eight or maybe seven, you're probably about right there. My diagram's a little bit inaccurate. In your exam, that'll be easier You'll have a pencil and a ruler, and the diagram will be displayed well. So it'll be easier for you to do. But be as accurate as you can. But you do get a little bit of leeway if the diagram is at all dodgy.
And that's all the kind of follow-up questions they ask. So median and interquartile range. Median is halfway in, draw a line down. Interquartile range is three quarters of the way in minus one quarter of the way in. Subtract. And then they can ask you these other questions where you're working starting from the other axes and drawing your lines up and across rather than across and down. And just be careful when it's more than that we have this subtraction at the end.